Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So y'all, it's another Sunday. I believe this is episode 61 of Mimosas and Makeup. Don't have a mimosa today, do have some. Didn't prepare that. <sighs> Plastic cups, <laughs> running the dishwasher, more than I'd like. So here we've got some Sutter Home Sweet Red with a little tipping off of the Bacardi Pineapple Rum. That's what I'm doing. For mimosas and makeup today, I want to do a palette rotation video. I have been talking so much about using my palettes. Use what we have. We've got to do it. So I'm doing it. We're gonna do five looks. These are looks that I did throughout the week. Let me just get to the next part. If you wanna see the five looks that I've created as a part of my effort to use my palettes, my palette rotation, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of these palettes and tell me if you like them or not. And if makeup is your therapy and your love and you're trying to make some better decisions, just mentally financially you know trying to make a makeup setback turn into a makeup comeback and you want to connect with another makeup enthusiast definitely consider joining this community we would love to have you back all right let's get started All right, you guys, so without further ado, I am gonna show you the five looks. The very last look I am gonna talk through, and then I'm gonna come back at the end and just talk about the looks that I created this week and how I feel about the palettes. So let's get the music on and let's go, y'all. Get your drink, though, because we're going to do it. Okay, that was a lot. Here we go. It's been a while, haven't talked since July You've been on my mind, don't hang up I know it's been some time, since I called you mine You've been on my mind, don't hang up Maybe I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me is she gonna stay the night? Tell me is she in your arms right now? Is she in your arms tonight? Like I used to Be, like I used to be, like I used to be 
selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? This is the last look in the palette rotation video. I have been really enjoying rotating my palettes. It's really made me go back into my eyeshadow collection and just appreciate what I have. I've also been highlighting each palette that I use on my spreadsheet. I don't care if I use it for an inner corner highlight. 
is being used. So today I'm using the Sashimi City palette by Kaleidos and it looks like this. It's a very cute neutral palette and I have on Lisa Eldridge Red Dragon. So I wanted this to be the standout. I also have on the Kaleidos blush. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like it's the lo-fi peach. I probably shouldn't have talked through this look because I need to go to work, but it's lo-fi peach. It looks like this. It's a matte peach and then this pink shimmer topper that you can use together, which is what I often opt to do. <sighs> they just need to come out with a blush line this year. I would be very excited to see that, but I'm not rushing it because I honestly don't need any blush. Now all week I've been wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. So I think I will do a review video on it because I've actually worn it for five days, not a week, but five days at this point. And I think I can actually talk about a foundation for once. So I just have to see how I wanna film that, but expect that soon. Let's start off with the shade Gourmet. That's gonna be a very nice transition shade. Zoom in. I forgot my ears, but I can't get up now to get them. Wait, what time is it? This is going to be like a real quick. I got 20 minutes, so let's see. See what we can come up with. So today is actually Friday, and we are off on Monday for Martin Luther King. Today at work, I am going to have a pizza party for the kids because we didn't have anything for the holiday because, you know, that's when I found out I had COVID, so I wasn't there. And I was like, oh, I still owe them something. So I'm gonna order pizza for them this afternoon and I think it'll be, that'll be fun. I, it will be fun for them. Just trying to think, you know, kids really eat a lot of pizza. And like when I do a pizza party, which is not often, like you're not gonna get one piece. I'm, I, I need y'all to get like two real size pieces, not kid size pieces. That's a mess. I hate when, mm -mm. You don't get, you won't cut one piece in two and tell me it's two, no. So I don't know how much that's gonna cost. And then I'm sure I'll be getting extra pizza because that just knocks out dinner in this household. You know what I'm saying? I like this little color right here. Like you can see it. It's like a little peachy. Oh, this reminds me of, is it Peach Crush by Sydney Grace? I feel like it reminds me of Peach Crush, but I, I love this. This is, a really nice shade. I mean, it's just basic. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. I'm gonna go over that a little more with the shade Salmon Skyline, which is this one. And that was Gourmet. It's a little deeper. It's gonna create a beautiful gradient with this palette. We'll see if we use all six of the shades. I really liked these Futurism palettes by Kaleidos. I actually own three of them and I, Damn, I think, you know why I wasn't supposed to use this palette because I use Lunar Lavender in another look, but this is just where my heart brought me, so I'm gonna go with it. It was between this and Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize, so I'll put that probably in the lineup for next week. I need to start thinking about that makeup basket. So yeah, the makeup baskets have been going really well. I just throw in a bunch of products that I want to use, but I especially put in the eyeshadow palettes and that's been going great. Last week I used the Pat McGrath foundation pretty much for the week. And as I said, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I don't know if you all have watched any reviews on that. I've only seen two, Tara Lynn and Morgan Turner, but they kind of say the same thing about the extended wear time about the foundation breaking up. But I don't know if you have oily skin, I could probably save all this for the video. It might not be the foundation for you. It is, if you can tell, aside from the highlighter that I have on, you can tell even here, it's extremely glowy. And I even put powder down here. So if you don't like a dewy foundation, it, this is not gonna be for you. If you get oily throughout the day and you don't wanna touch up, it's not gonna be for you. It's, it's gonna be doing too much. It feels like a lotion. It never feels completely dry, which I like because it's super hydrating. But I digress. Let's go into the shade Soy Sauce which is a matte brown. 
and we will give that a go in the outer corner so make it a little smoky what was i talking about the pizza party yeah so i'm doing that it's an excuse to not really do a whole bunch of teaching you know what i'm saying because they did earn it you know they earned the the party because I have this little chart for silent work because they talk a lot, okay, a lot. And I'm just like, I cannot. So every time they work quietly, I put an X on the chart, but I kind of got real lax with it. And they were like, did we fill it in? I'm like, yeah, y'all actually did. So I was like, we're gonna have this party, this little Christmas situation that didn't happen. Mm, this is so easy to blend, so easy to blend. Oh. So yeah, I think I was talking about, I'm all over the place, but that's okay. The Futurism palettes. So I think all of them are still available on the Kaleidos website and they're $24 each, but the only one that's not available is the green one. And I can't remember what it was called. I remember seeing it on Urban Outfitters as well, but that was a, a while ago. I don't know if it's still there but these are just great little palettes i think the price is awesome and the quality is just fantastic i mean just look at how just look at how these are blending like it's not really taking any work the colors are going right into each other there are just no problems at all with this palette at all honey should have got that green one because they had the whole set but now i think the whole set doesn't include the green that's sad. I actually don't need that green one though because I think flower punk, that that deep grungy green side really has similar shades. So I'm not like mad about it for real. But I am excited for what Kaleidos will do this year when that happens, not rushing it. Okay, this color, pink ginger, I have an indie single that's just like this. It's by Davina Cosmetics and it's the shade Tucana. And it has this pink gold flip, which is very similar, I mean, without the flip, to this blush topper. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. And I'm not using this with any glitter glue, as you can see, but you know, you can always add that for an extra pop. I need to have my little uh, Mayron mixing medium by me when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. That's why I never use it because it's always far away. But that's gorgeous. So pretty. I think I will be able to use all the shades. There's another like golden shimmer I'm going to put on the inner corner. And then I can use the other matte shade on the lower lash line and we'll be good to go. But this is beautiful. Like, check that out. And again, you know, I wanted the lipstick to stand out more than the eye look. I'm just taking a brush with nothing on it, the same brush I used in the crease, to just make sure that everything is meshing well. And I think it is. So now I'm going to go in with a brush, a small brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Penthouse, which is this one here. It's beautiful. Ooh, is this a dual chrome too? I kind of think it is. It's very uh, glittery, more of a topper shade, but it's really pretty. I'm just gonna put that here as well as in the inner corner. A little bit of fallout. You can just swipe the flex away. It's nothing serious. You can, I think you can still do your face makeup first. You know, you just may wanna tap off the brush and just work in really small concentrated strokes or pats just to minimize that if you're not going to use any type of glitter glue which like i said i'm not the last step is going to be the lower lash line and i'm going to take the shade promenade which is the other brown matte now let's see what the difference is between these two matte shades there's really not much soy sauce is a tad deeper just a tad like a slight tad and then promenade is is just not as deep let's see let me swatch them one more time build it up a little bit and i think you can see the difference a little bit more but 
On the eye, I don't think the difference is gonna be anything crazy, but I'm gonna take my Refer 26 brush. This is my favorite under eye brush. Let me check the time. Oh, okay, we're doing good. And start this under the lower lash line and just bring it over. I love how this rougher brush, how soft it is, because you know this area is very delicate. And I love how it diffuses the shadow. Cause I don't like when the color is super concentrated under the lower lash line. And I've done looks like that. I mean, it depends. It depends because I think in a look that I did this week, I think I took a blue, what palette was that? I already can't remember, but I think I took a blue and put it right here. And I did want that to be concentrated, but for the most part, I don't go for that. And I think it really helps to connect the top and bottom of the eyeshadow look, especially when you're doing like a smokier type look. I just like the shadow to be more diffused. So this is like perfect. You yeah, know, I'll just bring it all the way over. Okay, so I really like this. And I think the last thing that I wanna do is take Salmon Skyline. I think that's the shade. Yeah, Salmon Skyline, which is the salmon color. And I'm gonna just put a little bit in this area of the lower lash line, and then it'll kind of fade into the promenade shade. Just, just like that. Nothing, nothing fancy, just, but I, I just think these little touches, it just makes the eyeshadow look unique. You know, you can still make a neutral eyeshadow look like spectacular. And I think this one is honestly, truly. Okay, so here is the look. Let me just put the light up just a little bit so it's not as yellow. So you can see, I just love that glow there. Really pretty. I think it looks great with the lipstick and it's not like doing too, too much. So that's what we look like from a regular distance. <laughs> and I am going to grab an eyeliner. I'm gonna go brown today. It is a ColourPop liner and I know that because all my ColourPop names have worn off. So I can't tell you which liner it is. I really don't expect to be making a bunch of ColourPop purchases they are continuously duping themselves and i talked about that in the last like purchase or pass video that i did because it's just like let's not get hoodwinked bamboozled and or led astray by seeing these like birthstone palettes that are coming out because that's the one that they're releasing this amethyst one and i'm like no they have like so many purple palettes. So I just can't do it, y'all. I just can't. We're just not gonna do that this year. We are not gonna get bamboozled into thinking a different layout is different from what we already own. No, I have had the wool pulled over my eyes for going on two years now, and the wool is finally off. It's been lifted, y'all, lifted. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm not gonna do anything to the top. I think it's just gonna take away from that beautiful glow. All right, I've got three mascaras in my basket. I've been using the Merit Lengthening Mascara a lot. So I am going to not use that today because I, I have really, really been using it and I like it. But in my basket, I've got the NYX On The Rise Lash Booster. It's kind of a primer to help the mascara look its best. I have my Neutrogena Healthy Lengths Mascara that I sometimes like to use on the bottom. And then I have my Thrive Cosmetics, which I think this could possibly be drying out, but I'm just not sure. So we're gonna start with the Lash Booster and just get that going. And I'm still using, and I didn't put it on last night, but I'm still using my Grande Lash Serum as well as the Brow Serum. I am super consistent with the Lash Serum, but the Brow Serum, not so much. But I'm, I'm really trying to work with these brows. Like, my brows aren't bad, but like I said, I'm trying to get, look at that. I'm, I'm trying to get this feathery look going, y'all. It's coming. They little feathers, you know what I'm saying? But feathers nonetheless. You know, I like that bushy brow look, that unstructured look. 
untamed. Let's take the Neutrogena. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom here. And I think this mascara is supposed to have some lash lengthening, what do you call it, ingredients in it. But I like this, like it doesn't clump or anything, but I feel like it's not super thick because I don't really need my bottom lashes to be super thick. I do want them to be dark because I, I like when the lashes stand out over the shadow. I almost feel like it brings the shadow out a little bit just to taste. Y'all let me know, I could be making it up to sound good, but I, I think it does. I think it always brings out the lower lash line on my eyes. So I do like to do that. And sometimes it's nice when you do like the bottom lashes, like in a different color. Sometimes I use my burgundy mascara from ColourPop or, um, you know, even like a blue, you know, I feel like it really can add something to what may otherwise be a basic look. But I just think basic can be amazing. You know what I mean? It's an amazing basic look. All right, let's switch over to the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. Let's see what this is looking like. See, I don't know. I think I've been a little bit spoiled by that Merit Mascara because it just does not make your lashes clump at all. So I'm just starting to really notice the differences. Now this is a good mascara though. I'm not saying that it's not, but like that Merit just, there is just no clumping. It better not be no clumping for however much it is. Yeah, but I, I really do feel like the Lash Serum by Grande Lash is working. So I'm just gonna continue using it. It's definitely been a solid month. I started, I wanna say I started December 1st and it is pricey. So, you know, the set that I got had a travel lash serum, a regular size lash serum, and then the brow serum. I have gone through the travel lash serum and now I'm using the regular one. So yeah, I'm thinking that'll get me through hopefully the rest of this month and, and maybe February or most of it hopefully before I have to replace it. But I'll say it's definitely worth it. I have just totally given up on false lashes. I, I look at my drawer cause I was collecting them and they weren't expensive. They were from um, Amazon and I, I just had some that came with like BoxyCharm. I had some glam light stuff, but they're just sitting there. I'm just not into it. I feel like they're heavy. Okay, see, this is clumping. Uh, I can't, it is clumping. I don't like that. I'm gonna wear it, but I don't care for that. It doesn't look bad, but this is when you're supposed to use that brush. I don't even know where it is. Here it is. Let's see real quick while I'm shucking and driving. This is that melt brush that's supposed to I don't even know what this is supposed to do. Probably too daggone dry to do anything at this. Oh my God, it's a, oh my God, it's a, look. It's this one lash right here that's driving me crazy. Right here, like, can we split you into two? No, we can't. No, I'm not going. All right, anyway, damn, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Oh, the lash serum, maybe? I don't know, I gotta go to work. Here's the look, but here's the look. But look at my lashes, y'all, they're growing. Look at that, look at that lift. Can't. All right, y'all, so I'm going to work. I'll be back with the future me to just wrap up this palette rotation video. So y'all have a great day, do big things, you will. And whatever you're going through, you got this today, so. I'll be back. All right, you guys. So I do hope that you enjoy seeing the looks that I created this week. These are looks I wore to work. Hey y'all, this is editing Kara. I'm sitting up here trying to get my video ready for tomorrow. And I realized that I did not comment on the Giant Wolves palette look that I created. So I just had to hop on here and just give a little bit of my thoughts on this one. This has got to be one of the best palettes I own in my entire eyeshadow palette collection. It is just so beautiful. I always feel inspired when I look at this palette. 
And this look is just so beautiful. I love the way the colors blend together, the grunginess of it, the smokiness of it. I love that like golden green shade, the pink inner corner hoi loint. This palette is everything. This look is everything. I think these are sold out and I don't know if they're coming back. So I do feel pretty fortunate to have the Odin's Eye Legendary Diversa collection and I just cannot wait to do more with these but yeah definitely one of the best looks i've done i love it so 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 much so all right let's get to the other looks lunar lavender by kaleidos as much as i say like when people say i love purple i love purple eyeshadow i don't ever feel like that matter of fact i think the only shades i really feel like i love are like these orangey type tones i hey Oh, I can't watch it. Was that a toilet? Look. Butt cheeks. Bye, August. August, Mom, you Mom, some Mom. butt cheeks. <laughs> August, oh my God. Okay, let me finish this so we can start our movie with them curly cues. Mm. Thanks for sharing that. PP dirty. That's inappropriate. Okay, so Lunar Lavender, beautiful. The Amore e Mariposas. I just feel like something is preventing me from connecting wholly with this palette. And I know I'm being so dramatic, but I'm being like 100% real, like, because Mel is a brand that I always connect with. I just feel like the looks always come out great. And out of the looks that I created this week, and I could have been pressed for time, but this look was just not what I wanted it to be. I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice in the pictures. And I think the blush palette is extremely beautiful. What I love about this look is the under eye color. So I want to work with this palette a lot more because I refuse to believe that there's like a curse on this palette. So I did a look with Radiant Reflection. This collection was probably one of my favorite collabs this year. Probably number two to the Legendary Diversa collection. Tamtalia and Cindy Grace did that with this collection. I know that people will feel like these palettes look the same, but I just totally disagree. Cindy Grace honestly can do no wrong in my eyes. This look was so beautiful. What I really loved about it, and I think I talked about it in the last look about not having such a concentrated under eye shade. When I did my under eye for the Radiant Reflection look, I made sure that that bright blue, that you could see that, because that was just such a standout shade in the palette and I just wanted it to be seen. And I felt that creative spark when I went to use this palette. I just can't, I cannot. Now we come to the look I have on now. I applied this makeup this morning at about 7.30. So let's just see what it looks like. I did reapply the lipstick because I wear the mask, but I am wearing still the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. My mask comes like all the way up here. So the glowiness of the blush by Kaleidos is gone. The eyeshadow itself though, has not moved. It has not moved. Lipstick, Velvet Dragon. I can't. First time wearing it, don't talk to me. I will be putting my ends away ahead of time for Ms. Lisa Eldridge and her springtime releases. So if I go ham on those, please know I've been saving. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for taking some of your time out and hanging out with me for this palette rotation video. I think it's so important to circle back. I really do appreciate all of the feedback. I am learning as much from you as you think you may be learning from me. We are really all in this together. That's it, because I feel semi-emotional. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another Mimosas and Makeup. Watching the video and commenting with y'all is what I enjoy about Mimosas and Makeup. I love filming it too, but I, I film it because the enjoyment is gonna come from watching the video 
with y'all like that's what i love about mimosas and makeup so i hope this was therapy for you it always is for me so until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i'm gonna see y'all this week bye <laughs>